Hey Butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly with me, Monaco. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money and our purpose to the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes here on the channel, honey, okay? Thank you for your support. So I had to do the one, two, three, four um video y'all uh had to do the one two three four video because when we were just doing the last video i saw one two three four on the phone when we picked it up and spirit was just like okay yeah you gotta do this one today and so it kind of like jumped the line from the other ones because i actually had a one two three four message on here as well okay and so like the first energy of what i just got is just like with the one two three four so first as a reminder, if you're new here, well, if you're not new here, if it's a reminder, if it's a reminder that you've been here before. <laughs> One is a number about um, individual self starting something, okay, action. Two is a number of collaboration. It's a number of connection, okay. Three is a number of spiritual. Um, it could be fertility. It could be creativity. Four is a number of foundation, home, balance. Well, two is more of a balance. Four is more of like foundation, home, structure, okay? And so we're looking at the numbers and the ordering of it, how it goes from action to balance to creating life, creating your balance. Um, you seeing one, two, three, four, you may be in a space where like you're getting a certain thing in your life into order. You're getting things into place. You're getting it, you know, you're getting your ducks in a row, right? But in you getting your ducks in a row, seeing that one, two, three, four is kind of like a reminder that things can sometimes change and plans can change. So always be open and flexible too. And that's what I'm feeling right now with this energy because the next number is a five. Five is a number of grace, but it's also a number of change, okay? So when I think of a five, I think about being flexible. And when I look at the last time, actually, I saw one, two, three, four yesterday, y'all. Y'all see that? I saw it yesterday. And the message I got from it was you got to be aware of an interference, okay? And so what that interference is, it may be an interference that may try to come in with that five energy because five can signify battles as well. It could be fighting. It could be conflict okay and so you may want to be aware of an energy that may try to come in and make you question yourself make you question where you're at make you question your progress make you question where you're headed to you know and only time you need to be changing what you do is if what you're questioning is warranted if it's not warranted let it go okay if it's not warranted let it go <laughs> like if it ain't needed let it go you know what i'm saying like that's the energy with this you know with that five energy either you can can't take control of the five or you can let conflict come in and change you okay or you can be flexible and allow it to come in and like you do what you do with it and then basically next after the five is a six structure and organize it okay take what happens in that five energy move it around six is also a number of alchemy mixed with a nine okay and so it's like take it start the process of doing what needs to be done to alchemize it put it together put together the process understand the process right and so it's like you gotta be okay with those changes you know you gotta be flexible be flexible and understand not everyone will be happy for you, you gotta be okay with that okay and so don't allow other energies and things like that around you to make you question who you are or make you question your growth, okay? You have the nine of sceptres. I was just talking about a nine. I was talking about alchemy. The number that, well, the energy that you're alchemizing with this is the sense of a nine is just being, you know, tired or fed up with something or something being heavy, you know, someone getting on your nerves, someone being like a burden or something on you, okay? But the king of sceptres is someone who takes control of. The king of sceptres is the one who put the energy on the nine of sceptres. They, they call the shots in a lot of ways, okay? The decisions that they make is what, puts the nine of scepters into their energy, okay? Okay? So versus letting other people change your mood and your energy, maybe you need to learn how to change the energy of other people. And that's that five energy. Remember, five is the number of change. Maybe you can change the energy of other people around you or of the environment, 444. On the time, 44 is environment. Maybe you can change the environment or the people and things around you with that five energy versus it changing you, okay? Well, you changing it versus it changing you. I think I said it right here. 
Yeah, you got Queen of Swords energy coming out. You have a sense of wisdom or something to you of what you've come to learn about yourself and your journey and your process. You have a very interesting story. So the steps that you've had to take to get you to where you're at right now is something that a lot of people will actually be able to resonate and you don't realize it. It's just that in your area, you don't see it, okay? In this moon card, you may even keep a lot to yourself. You may not even share what you're going through. You may not even share the process you're going through. You may not even be sharing how you're feeling, okay? And because you're not sharing it, you think you're alone. Because you feel you can't trust anyone, you don't share it. You got to get to a place where you trust yourself. You're in it with yourself so much and you've healed so much from the past and what hasn't been working for you that you don't give a fuck who it offends. You don't give a fuck who don't like it. You don't give a fuck who it's not for because you make what you make for who it's for. For who needs to hear it. I'm hearing the energy of people in your environment. Yeah, this is a card of environment. What's these cards? Like them having similar experiences as you. You have mirage. Something is a mirage. Something around you wants you to make you believe. It's an interference trying to make you believe something that's not true. Something that's not there. So pay attention to those surroundings. It could be you and your thoughts. It could be because you're taking in too much energy from other people. And so now you're judging yourself and judging your process based off of someone else's story. You don't know that whole that person's whole story. You don't know everything they've had to go through. Everybody isn't open with sharing authentically everything they've gone through. And even if they do, don't judge your story against theirs. We all got a different life path. We all got a different birth chart, which is why I tell everybody, learn your birth chart. That's you. That's your master key. But then people will be stuck, getting stuck by the interference because they're not taking the time to learn themselves. So the people who don't take the time to learn themselves get stuck in the crossfire. You got the lake energy that's coming out. This gives me the sense of watching yourself at Lake Minnetonka. Minnetonka. <laughs> when he played her like that, her getting up in there naked. That's the interference. Watch out for people playing with you, playing with your feelings. Like, don't p -p -p play with me. Don't play with it. Okay? Don't play with me. Don't let people play with you. But it also gives me the vibe of being like baptized through water, baptized through fire. They all, you know, they say next is going to be fire. So the next stage of baptism in the next life will be fire. And a lot of people are being baptized through fire now, it feels like. It feels like you're living hell on earth to some of you all, you know. And I can't deny your experience to those who feel that way. I won't. But what I will say is that you still got the power to wash it all off, wash it away. <laughs> you got ripple. It's a ripple effect. And good vibes is a ripple effect. Good energy is a ripple effect. Interference is a ripple effect. So if you want negative, listen to more negative. If you want positive, listen to more positive, okay? You do need the negative, though, to balance it out. Too much positive can fuck you up, okay? It'll have the, the tide going the wrong way. And then it messes up the rest of the environment. You got to allow natural law. But at the same time, because you got to think of a ripple, a ripple goes all around, okay? So it hits the positive and the negative, north, east, south, west, and in between, okay? That's crazy, the rainforest is coming out. You know, in the rainforest, the rainforest supplies over 40% of medicine, nature, plants. It's giving a healing energy with nature, water plants that's this video y'all feel free to let me know any other numbers that you may have been seeing and when the spirit guides give me the okay to do the number i'll let you all know and as always always be real always be true don't be afraid to do what you want to do period i love you and i'll see you later bye